Hey, it's Jeffrey Howells Carpet Cleaning here, and we are in a mobile park. We're doing ourselves a two-bedroom double-wide today, so <sighs> don't want to fall into that. But anyways, so what we're going to be doing is our three-stage clean process. We are going to be doing a really good thorough vacuum as part of this phase one. Um, once the vacuum is completed, getting all the debris up. Granted, these carpets have been back pre vacuumed already. However, you know, I come in, I usually am going after different soils and what the uh, homeowner is typically after. So it's just a little bit different of a vacuum. Then we move into phase two, which is our pre spray solution that we put in on. And combined with um, a form of agitation, today we'll be using Grandi Green Manual Cleaning. Um, as far as uh, the agitation goes, that um, there isn't any major stains or anything, so that's why I uh, wanna, that's one of the, the, the uh, variables that I use to either elect using a CRV or just a manual. And the manual usually is a little bit faster, especially when you're going into a double wide and there's no stairs or anything. It's just easy to get your equipment in and do the cleaning and do the best possible um, possibly can without using any like crazy you know, agitation or anything like that so this is going to turn out really good and then we move into phase two or i'm sorry phase three which we complete with a uh that's the extraction with the hot water extraction steam cleaning and, uh, the covers will look absolutely beautiful so without further ado i'm going to go ahead and begin our vacuum process now um, one thing to note with a vacuum that, you know, I'm always going after the abrasive debris that are in the carpeting. So, I always begin by moving the vacuum to the highest um, position that can possibly go. And to set this guy properly so it has a maximum airflow and suction and uh, the beater bar hitting the floor properly. You'll turn the machine on and you'll begin lowering the, this power head. One, two, three however far it goes as soon as you hear it make contact with the carpeting on the floor hit it one more time and that right there is your sweet spot for most vacuum cleaners as far as um, having sufficient airflow yet creating enough um, agitation and vibration on the carpeting to shake that debris and bounce it up so that your vacuum cleaner can pick it up. So that's pretty much how we are getting sand and gravel and all that grit out of the carpeting. Um, I'm not sure how many homeowners will actually go that far as to even know what the proper setting for a vacuum cleaner is or how many of them even have the ability to adjust the height of the vacuum cleaner. So um, having the right tools and knowing Having the right knowledge really does help you in this industry. So um, I hope to be able to point out a couple of things that you can use and be able to uh, improve the services that you provide your customers. Phase one has been completed with our pre back and we got um, thoroughly over all the carpeting to get as much debris out as we possibly could. Now, um, phase two, we're moving in there. Part A is putting down our pre spray solution right here, and then part B is using some form of agitation, which we're going to use this brush right here. What I do like about this almost more than the Grande Groom. got quite a few more brushes on it than just the grinding room and uh we'll be able to take out the last job that we did. But uh what that does is it I just adds a little bit more agitation. However, um it's a little bit more work to push around because it, it does create more friction targeting. But after using it a couple times, um you know at first it was 
use and after pushing it around a couple times, I kind of got used to it and I actually like the results that I get from this better than just using the Grundy glue. Um, just because of the extra agitation this is able to uh, generate. So, part A, we spray application. Part B, agitation of the broom. Alright, so uh, stage two is completed with parts A and B with our application of pre spray and agitation. Um, I did get the truck fired up, you can hear it running in the background, and I got our hoses running in. And currently, right now, we're getting our uh, water up to temperature. I like 230 degrees. Um, first job of the day, heating stuff up on the cold engine, it takes eh, five or ten minutes to get it going. So. And it takes a little bit longer. I mean, it's not super fast hot heat with the unit I'm using, but it, it does the job. So, um, one thing I pointed out in a few other videos is that when I come into a room, I bring the solution line and my um, extraction hose all the way to the furthermost corner of the house and then I unroll it and wind it all the way back out to the truck so that I always have the perfect amount inside the home as possible. Now I know that, you know, that's the reason for why I do it. I know it's probably not the most efficient way, but I have yet to see guys actually talk about what they do. I'm sick and tired of looking at pictures of people's uh, house call pro or whatever program that they're using and flashing in I don't give a rat's ass how much money I'm making. Really, I know how much I'm doing, and it pays the bills, it puts money in the bank, and it supports the family, and it's all the good matters. Um, so with that said, I would love to see uh, some videos, or uh, any dialogue, or anything, discussions on Facebook. What do you guys do? What do you guys do? What, do you, what, what is your plan? When you go into a house, how do you unroll your hose? Well, think that that is the information that's important for the news to be able to see that information. That's stuff that they'd actually be able to use and implement into the cleaning system. Not uh, how much money are you charging for this and that? Because that is pretty much way down the road. I mean, it's not even it's secondary. That's like third, fourth, fifth. There's a whole lot of other things. That said, you guys post uh, comments in the comment space below. I would love to get some dialogue going or uh, create a video what, showing what you're doing. I would love to take a look at that because, uh, you know, I've been in the business for 15 years doing what I'm doing and I'm still learning every day from you guys. So I love watching your guys' comments. I love seeing your, your dialogue, what you guys are talking about. I mean, I get ideas and things all the time that I've never thought of just because some goofball out there come up with some creative way that's like absolutely genius of, of doing something. Um, the other day I watched a video with uh, nothing to do with carpet cleaning. Um, what did he do? He put a, a pesticide thing onto his lawnmower so that he could mow the lawn and, and fog it for, uh, for insects at the same time. I was like, oh my gosh, that is absolutely, you know, ingenuity at work. I love that sort of stuff. So anything you guys got, I'll eat it up. 